<sighs> hey y'all. Thanks for stopping in. I'm going to do a small Walmart haul tonight or today or whatever it is. Hey, uh, 110 subscribers. Hey y'all. Thanks to, thanks to you new folks joining in. Uh, leave me a comment below, especially if you got a channel of your own so I can go check you out. Um, anyway, let's, uh, see what all I got. So make sure I have y'all in frame. And it looks pretty good, eh? Okay. We got this fajita blend. Uh, if you watch my watch any of my videos, you know this is pretty much a staple in my freezer. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, the missus had some oral surgery done, and she's not allowed to have solid food, so she actually requested these parfait, you know, gelatin and Cool Whip or whatever. I offered to make her up fresh but she said no just buy it so there it is uh, let me get this frozen stuff in the freezer real quick all right we'll pull up another bag this is more more requests from uh you know she said we can do mashed potatoes just make them real soupy like like potato soup and breakfast essentials. Now she said instant breakfast. And I've been through this once before trying to find instant breakfast. It's I'm 99% sure that it's been renamed. I walked up and down aisles and up and down aisles trying to find this stuff. And it's packed, it's put down in this little tiny corner. It was difficult to find to say the least. Oh, what else do I have here? Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, several yogurts. Uh, Blackberry Harvest, orange, cream. Again, these are kind of, these are requests other than the flavors. Strawberry cheesecake, mixed berry. I think these are all doubles. Strawberry mousse or raspberry mousse chocolate so they'll have to go in the refrigerator along with her parfait cups oh what do we got here oh here we go this will be an upcoming segment king's hawaiian rolls swiss cheese turkey and ham Chicken bouillon cubes. Uh, again, that's for making up the broth. Got her a few things of soup. Like she asked for chicken and rice. An extra noodle. Uh, I got her, what, three of each. So, there's those. Uh, box of chicken broth and this one we'll see in an upcoming episode a cheapy bottle of wine oh. I've actually I've had this oak leaf before it's only like it's like Two dollars and eighty nine cents, or two dollars and ninety eight. Anyway, you know it's under three bucks. Um, it's better than Boone's Farm, three buck wine. Um, usually, when I drink wine, I mix it with ginger ale anyway and make a highball, uh, or sometimes with Coke. I make a highball with with Coca Cola. Um, yeah. If you don't think that gets looks in a place like Olive Garden, when they come by and say, can we give you a little taste of this wine? Said, sure, what would you like? 
I'll give me the red. And they pour, you know, this little bit of red into a cup or into a, you know, into a glass. And I'll take a little sip and then pour it into my Coke. And the waitress or waiter will step back and give me one of them looks. It's like, well, you know, hey, it is what it is. <coughs> so I'm not, I'm not a big wine drinker, uh, mainly because it's usually, uh, it's not, it, even the sweet wines aren't, aren't really sweet. They're kind of a sweet tart. So I like to mix them. Even the stuff that I make myself, other than the Applejack. Yeah, my homemade Applejack. Oh my God, that goes down so easy. It's, uh, it's, quick, it's, it's very easy to have too much of that. Um, I think, I believe there's, I believe there's a, a video on the Applejack. So, yeah, uh, if I remember, I'll. Anyway, uh, thank y'all for stopping in. You know, you know the routine. Give me a like, thumbs up, or a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. I really like comments. So, uh, until I see y'all next time, people. Salacha. Bye bye.